2019 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Well, warmer air is being lifted up and over some very cold air near the surface this evening. That's producing some of this mid-level cloudiness that is moving through right now. But our next weather system that will bring precipitation is now moving out of Alberta, moving into Montana. And this is a little Alberta clipper, one of two. That will bring some light snow over the weekend. It's not going to have a lot of moisture to work with. All the deep tropical moisture is still kind of held up here along the Gulf Coast states. However, once this little clipper moves through our area and some of this moisture down to the south combines with it, we will form a storm here on the east coast. And this could bring a pretty substantial snowstorm to parts of the east coast early next week. So if your travels take you to D.C., New York, or Boston early next week, that may cause some flight issues. And, of course, when there are flight issues on the east coast, it's a ripple effect across the country. So to keep in mind, if you've got air travel early next week. Now for us, again, my focus is on the two Alberta Clippers turning warmer and then that bigger system towards Christmas. So we'll get above freezing tomorrow as well as Friday, but two Alberta Clippers are on the way. One Friday night, Saturday, another on Sunday, and each one of these will have a half inch or less of snowfall. But that could still slicken up roads a little bit coming up over the weekend. And then a much more vigorous system that we've been talking about for a while towards Christmas. Christmas, but uh, the big question is the track of the storm. That will determine how much snow, ice, and or rain we receive from it. But in the meantime, tonight, though, partly cloudy, not as cold as the single digits we had last night. 13 Rochester, 15 Monticello and Remington, down to Frankfurt and Colfax, 15 at Lafayette, upper teens down to the south towards Perrysville, Vetersburg, and Covington. Warmer still tomorrow, a partly cloudy day. Winds light out of the south and the southeast, so not a lot of wind tomorrow. Highs low to mid-30s over most of the area, but down to the south, Crawfordsville, Perrysville, you'll be pushing 40 tomorrow afternoon. 35 Monticello up towards Chalmers and Logansport as well as Kiwana. So tonight, though, the big weather story is the fact that it's going to be still cold, but not as cold as last night. Partly cloudy, low down to 15, a calm wind at first, but becoming southeast later on in the night. Partly cloudy, warmer tomorrow. We'll actually get above freezing for tomorrow afternoon with winds out of the southeast. So not a strong wind bringing the wind chills down tomorrow just yet. 36 on Friday, but notice the overnight lows still down to the mid-20s. There's the first clipper Friday night into Saturday with some light snow moving in. Breezy as well, highs in the upper 20s. By Sunday, the second clipper arrives with light snow arriving. 25 for the high, and notice by Monday, Arctic air arrives. 18 for the high with a few scattered snow flurries. Windy conditions, 21 on Tuesday, but towards next Thursday... That's the time to watch. That's around Christmas Eve, and that's when that much, a much more vigorous system will come out of the southern plains in the southeast U.S. and could bring snow, ice, maybe rain. It's just too early to tell, but I will tell you this. There will be a significant storm system headed our way, it looks like.